Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a macaque monkey. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. Inside the circle, draw a curved horizontal line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. On top of the horizontal line, draw a shorter curved vertical line for another construction guide. On the bottom half of the head, draw a smaller circle as a guide for the muzzle. Use the 4 marks method to draw this small circle too. Pay attention to the size of this circle in relation to the head. The bottom edge of this circle should be slightly outside the shape of the head. On top of the head, on the sides, draw two small arcs as guides for the ears. The head is slightly turned, so draw the ear on the left slightly smaller than the ear on the right. Under the head, draw a circular shape as a guide for the top part of the body. Just like before, first make a small mark far down below the head to indicate the lower edge of the guide, and then make two more small marks on the sides to indicate the sides of the guide. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circular guide. Don't overlap the shape of the head as you draw this guide. Draw this shape slightly to the right of the head. Pay attention to the size of this circular guide in relation to the head. Far down below, make a small mark to indicate the lower edge of the body. Don't draw this small mark too close to the shapes at the top or the body will be too short. On the sides, draw two long curved vertical lines as guides for the sides of the body. Make the bottom mark longer to close off the shape of the guide. On the bottom left side of the body circle, draw a small oval as a guide for the first hand. This oval should overlap the bottom edge of the big circle. Under the oval, draw a curved line as a guide for the fingers. To the right of the oval, draw two curved horizontal lines as guides for the forearm. Make the line at the bottom longer and curvier than the line at the top. To the left, draw another small oval as a guide for the other hand. Below that, draw an angled line as a guide for the fingers. Now draw a long curved vertical line from the hand to the head to complete the guide for the arm. Under the hand on the right, draw a long vertical line as a guide for the first part of the leg. To the right, draw another vertical line for the other side of the leg. Close off the shape at the bottom using a short curved horizontal line. Under the leg and body, draw a curved shape that points to the left as a guide for the first foot. On the lower left side of the foot, draw a small square-like shape as a guide for the toes. Under the arm on the left, draw a long line that slopes to the right as a guide for the other leg. At the bottom, draw a short curved line that points to the left as a guide for the other foot. On the tip of the foot, draw a small angled shape as a guide for the toes. Starting on the lower right side of the body, draw a line that curves to the left as a guide for the tail. Some types of macaques have short tails, so don't make this line too long. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch two small circles for the eyes. Place the eyes on top of the horizontal construction guide and on either side of the vertical construction guide. When you get the size and position of the eyes right, darken the shapes. Make the shapes of the eyes longer as you darken them. Make the sides pointier too to create the corners of the eyes. 
The eye on the right should be slightly bigger than the eye on the left because of the way the head is turned. On top of the eyes, draw two short curved lines for the eyelids. Add two more short lines under the eyes for wrinkles. Inside the eyes, draw tiny circles for highlights. Add a few short curved lines for the visible part of the irises. In the middle of the irises, draw tiny dots for pupils. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circles as you draw all these shapes and lines. Inside the circle for the muzzle, at the top, draw a series of short lines for the nose. Draw the lines at the bottom similar in shape to the letter V to create the nostrils. Make the lines at the bottom thicker and darker to make the nostrils bigger. On the right side, draw a short curved line for the outer edge of the nostril. Under the nose, draw an angled line for the mouth. On the left side, follow the path of the initial circle, and then angle the line to the right to create the mouth. Below the mouth, draw a curved line for the chin. Follow the curvature of the initial guide as you draw the chin. Draw a series of short strokes along the top right edge of the initial circle for the furry base of the ear. Now draw a small triangular shape at the top of the initial arc to create the furry shape of the outer ear. Darken the bottom part of the arc to finish the shape of the ear. Inside the shape, draw a few short curved lines to give the ear more structure. Darken the arc on the left using short strokes to create the shape of the other ear. Draw a line across the arc to separate the outer edge of the ear. Above the eyes, draw a series of short curved lines to create the brow. These curved lines should be made up of short strokes for a furry texture on the brow. Add more short strokes higher above the eyes to make the shape of the brow thicker. Now use the initial circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Draw a series of short strokes along the path of the circle to create the shape of the furry head. Below the ear on the left, curve the lines inward to make the top part of the head thinner than the initial circle. And below that, curve the lines back to the left to make the shape of the cheek wider than the initial circle. Make the top part of the head slightly flatter as you darken the lines. Below the ear on the right, draw short strokes along the outer edge of the initial circle for the other big furry cheek. Add a few more short strokes within the shape of the head for more fur. On the sides of the face, add more short strokes for the separation of the bare skin and the fur. Now darken the lines in the middle to create the first arm. Curve the bottom line more to create the top of the leg where the forearm is resting. 
Use a series of short strokes to create a furry texture. Darken the right side of the guides to create the top part of the arm. On top of the forearm, draw a short vertical line for the inner edge of the top arm. On the bottom right side of the head, draw a short curved line for the shoulder. Inside the shape that's below the small oval, lightly sketch a series of short lines that angle to the right to separate the fingers. Angle the lines across the middle to create the joints on the fingers. There should be a total of four fingers that overlap each other. When you get the shapes of the fingers right, darken the lines. The pinky on the right should be the smallest finger. Add a few short lines where the fingers bend for the wrinkles on the joints. Draw a series of short lines along the top parts of the fingers for the fur on the knuckles. Now use the shapes on the left side as guides to draw the other hand and arm the same way. Darken the vertical line on the left side to create the outer edge of the arm. Use a series of short strokes to create a furry texture. On top of the hand, draw a short line that curves to the left for the top part of the forearm. Inside the small shape that's below the hand, lightly sketch a series of short lines that angle to the left to separate the fingers. Bend the middle parts of the lines to emphasize the joints on the fingers. When you get the shapes of the fingers right, darken the lines. Add a few short lines across the middle of the shapes for the wrinkles on the joints. On top of the fingers, draw a series of short strokes for the fur on the knuckles. Use the lines and shapes under the arm on the right as guides to draw the first leg and foot. Draw a series of short strokes along the path of the initial guides to create the shape of the furry leg. Add a curved sloping line at the top for the folded leg. Now darken the lines that point to the left to create the foot. Inside the small square-like shape at the bottom, lightly sketch a series of angled lines to separate the toes. Make the toes long and similar to the fingers at the top. The pinky toe on the right should be the smallest shape. Now darken the edges of the guides on the right to create the back. Curve this line in the middle farther to the right of the arm. Draw a series of short strokes along the left edge of the initial circle for the furry chest. Add short strokes on the top left side for the furry shoulder too. Darken the guides at the bottom using short strokes for the rest of the furry body. The longer you make the strokes, the longer the fur will be. Now darken the line at the bottom for the first part of the tail. At the top, draw another curved line that's made up of short strokes for the top edge of the tail. Don't make the shape of the tail too thick. Use the shapes on the lower left side of the body as guides to draw the other leg. Darken the vertical line to create the top part of the leg. On the right side of the foot, draw a short curved line for the thumb-like toe. Draw a series of short angled lines inside the shape at the bottom to separate the rest of the toes. Only three toes will be visible from this angle. Draw a couple of short sloping lines on the sides so that the monkey has something to sit on. 
and now erase all of the guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay to leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. And now shade your drawing. Use a dark value under the brows to create shadows. Add a darker value above the nostrils to create the bridge of the nose. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. Push down very lightly on your pencil for light values and then push down harder for darker values. As you shade the fur on the sides of the face, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. The fur on the head should radiate outward from the middle. Use a lighter value for the bare skin on the face. Shade the body using vertical strokes for the fur. If you shade using strokes that go in multiple directions, the drawing can start to look a bit messy. Use darker values to create shadows on the body. Pick the light source as you shade so that the shadows are consistent throughout the body. Here the light source is coming from the top, so most of the shadows will be on the underside of the shapes. Curve the strokes within the forearm to give the shape more dimension. Use a light value to make the fur shiny. As you shade, separate each stroke a bit so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a more furry texture. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of a macaque. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the macaque. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how and then the number two then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time keep drawing.